So our research is on moths and the project's called Shedding Light on the Night, Nocturnal Biodiversity. And the reason that we've, we've done moths is because moths are really, really important, but they're very overlooked. And part of that is just simply because they're around at night when no one's out there. So what we're looking at is we're getting schools and community groups involved in trying to get better distribution data for where they are, but also trying to track different types of lights. What we're doing in lots of cities in New Zealand is we're changing from traditional st street lights to LED lighting and this is great for light pollution for our eyes but moths see differently so they see more in the LED um, light spectrum and by changing we're changing the light brightness for moths and we know from overseas research that this has different effects on different moths. And what we don't have is information from New Zealand. So what we're trying to do is get lots of people enthused about moths, because moths are just cool. And in the process, we want to collect some data from different places with different types of street lighting um, and get the kids involved in doing that experiment. The first aim is just to get people enthused about moths. So we get more people studying moths, more people doing moth work. We've got lots of moths in New Zealand. We've got 2,000 species of moths in New Zealand. Only 1,700 of them are even named. Um, compare that to birds, we've got 214 birds. Moths are where it's at. Um, Apart from getting people enthused about moths, we want to collect some proper data. So we want to get some more data on the distribution of the moths and how they're affected by lights and different types of lights.